Well, I just turned 77. That's almost 78 if you count the station. And I miss being young. I miss grade school. I miss the days before school when I was totally free, hanging out on the front porch with Mom, sticking bobby pins in light sockets, making sparks and blowing fuses. Oh, yeah, I really miss the younger days of my life. Like uh, when I punched that gym teacher in the face while he was trying to break up a fight between me and another kid. We were fighting over who was going to use the pencil sharpener first. Speaking of gym teachers, they had that habit of flushing kids' clothes down toilets and picking on them. Oh, I remember, <laughs> I remember, <laughs> they'd always be telling you to wear a jock strap. They didn't want anything hanging out. <laughs> they'd always be telling people, they go, oh, I got to use the bathroom, Jim Teach. And Jim Teach would say, throw him a rubber band and say, <laughs> use that. That'll stop it up good, old Jim Teacher, Jim Teacher. And I remember this Jim Teacher teaching health class. He was talking about the finger dipping in the drive-in movies and such. Oh, I miss junior high and high school. Junior high, they'd be smoking in the boys' room and uh, urinating on the radiators. Oh, man, that would smell. Cover up that smell of smoke. We got to high school and they'd be doing what? Cherry bombs and M80s in the toilets and flooding the place out. And then by the time I got to my junior and senior year, people had figured out bomb scares, and they'd be calling in bomb scares. We'd be standing out in front of the high school for hours, clowning around and playing hacky sack, and smoking cigarettes and various unsundry herbs and stuff. Oh, I miss being young. I sure miss being young. All the hoods that carried chains and knives and wore leather coats and us rah-rahs with penny loafers and bobby socks and madras shirts and khaki pants and such. And the girls, they'd have their befond hairdos all put up with sugar and such. I remember this one girl in my class she was a girlfriend of a hood, you know, a guy who wears a leather jacket, chains, and carries switchblades, and her hair was up there I'm maybe two and a half feet in the air, and she used sugar to keep it up that way, and one day she went to school, and there was ants crawling around in her hair, they had to send her to the nurse's office, I miss being young and all the clowning around and stuff, the days before responsibilities set in.